All right, I may be outnumbered, granted, but now it's my turn with this story. Well, officially she's Mrs. Clooney, but that's after snatching the world's most eligible bachelor. Now his new wife, George Clooney's new wife, has decided to take her husband's first last name. First name would be really wild. And that has some <laughs> feminists upset. Why would a 36-year-old international human rights attorney do such a thing, given the fact that she's smart, she's successful, she's a feminist herself, but others say, look, they don't blame her for ditching her maiden name because that's tradition. What say you, Sandra? I say there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. In fact, I'm a big fan of it. Uh, I took my husband's last name. Um, you know, it's not on television, but in everything else in my life. And I think it's really important to become one household when you marry. That's really what you're committing to. Uh, I think it's a very Andrea? personal decision for every woman. Personal. I, think I agree. That, that it just depends. So, I mean, look, she's taking her husband's name. Uh, I probably at this stage would not take my husband's name publicly. But you know what? In her case, she does a lot of UN work. He has a very powerful name. Powerful name. She yeah. may also be using his name to influence for good. Probably. And that's a good thing. But again, every woman should make the decision for herself what's best. And I wouldn't judge any woman for taking her husband's name or not. Harris, what do you think? You know, I, I didn't. Uh, take my husband's name. I met, you know, we met, got married later in life. Yeah. I think that by that time I'd written a book. I'd done a lot of things with my own name, kind of. You know, sure. I've been in, in the business for a long time. Um, but I, I support a woman with whatever her decision would mm. be. I mean, I think Tony and I are one, no matter what it is that our last name is. Um, but I kept my and my Stace. Name. I, I've never taken any of my past husband's last name. That was convenient. <laughs> um, <laughs> for you, convenient. right? Ooh, for uh, you. <laughs> but you know, the man that comes along that is, says, you're taking my name, I'll do it. Wow, that's wow. There's something very sexy about that. How much that. does it mean to a man for a woman to take his name? Um, I think some men f actually f find it very gratifying, and for other men, it could be a little bit, um, what, um, challenging in, in the really? sense that it, it's further evidence that, wow, I'm really doing this. We're <laughs> joining as one household. And for some guys, it kind of freaks them out. Now, the other question I have is you don't have men taking women's names, which is interesting. Well, like, it just there's doesn't There's a stigma happen. attached to that. So. Yeah. Well, you say, of Why course not, and I agree, that? but it's interesting it never happens, really. Does having children change whether or not you yes. should take someone's name? Uh, well, I think there is a convenience factor, a unified yeah. field theory here that would say, look, we're all one family, mm -hmm. we have the same name, and that. for convenience and tradition, sure, the man's name. At some point, maybe we'll mix it up, and uh, you'll have guys saying, I want to be, you know. <laughs> Mrs. Tan Mr. Tanteros. <laughs> yes, they would. Yes. Mr. They would. Tanteros. To sometimes each their they've own. mistaken Mr. the guy Tanteros. that I've dated. Uh, they've called him Mr. Tanteros <laughs> at hotels. It's been pretty awesome. Wow. Yeah, all it's right. been pretty great. Well, all right, fair enough. <laughs>